Our Planet is a British nature documentary series made for Netflix. The series is narrated by David Attenborough and produced by Silverback Films, led by Alistair Fothergill and Keith Scully, who also created BBC documentary series Planet Earth, Frozen Planet and The Blue Planet, with collaboration with the conservation charity World Wildlife Fund WWF. The series addresses issues of conservation while featuring these disparate animals in their respective home regions, and has been noted for its greater focus on humans' impact on the environment than traditional nature documentaries, centering around how climate change impacts all living creatures. It marked the first nature documentary Netflix has ever made. All episodes were released on 5 April 2019. Netflix reported that 25 million households were expected to watch the series during its first month of release. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Production. On the 15th of April 2015, it was announced that the team behind the BBC nature series Planet Earth would produce an eight-part nature docu-series for Netflix that would be released in 2019. It has been four years in the making and was filmed in 50 countries, and over 600 crew members took part in the production. The series focuses on the breadth of the diversity of habitats around the world, including the Arctic wilderness, the deep sea, the vast landscapes of Africa and the diverse jungles of South America. In November 2018, David Attenborough was announced as the narrator, with the release date of the 5th of April 2019 also announced. Topic: Promotion The series premiere was held on 4 April 2019, at the London's Natural History Museum. Guests at the premiere, included Prince Charles and his two sons Prince William and Prince Harry, Charlie Brooker, David Beckham and his son Brooklyn Beckham, Ellie Goulding along with the series narrator David Attenborough have attended the event to underline the support for action against climate change. When giving the speech, Prince Charles said he hoped our planet would educate hundreds of millions of people around the world about what action was required." While David hopes humans can be responsible careful citizens of this planet which is our only home, and for the creatures that live in it. The first teaser trailer for Our Planet was released on 8 November 2018. Three months later on 4 February 2019, the second teaser trailer was released. On 19 March 2019, the official trailer for the documentary was released. Episodes A one-hour-long bonus episode, Our Planet, Behind the Scenes, about the project is only accessible at the end of Episode 8. Topic Reception. The review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes reported an 88% approval rating based on 17 reviews and an average rating of 8 tenths. The website's critical consensus reads: quote, quote, "Our planet is so frank about just how badly humans have screwed over the Earth that it's genuinely startling." No matter how huge the crisis, it's rare to see it laid out in such unsparing terms." Metacritic, which uses a weighted average, assigned the film a score of 90 out of 100, based on six critics, indicating, "...favorable reviews." Lucy Mangan of The Guardian gives out four out of five stars to Our Planet, saying, it places clearer emphasis on the fragility and interconnectedness of all the species and ecosystems on display, and on the huge impact humanity has had on them in so short a time. Brian Resnick of Vox praises the series as can't really describe the scale of what's missing, stating it reminds us we're living in an age of staggering wildlife loss due to human development, overfishing, deforestation, and climate change. 
This series doesn't let us forget that. Humans have caused staggering amounts of wildlife loss. Our planet doesn't hide from it. Ben Travers of IndieWire give out an overall B plus for the series, and claims that the series ruthlessly contrasts the world's natural wonders with the environmental crisis killing them off, he wrote. Their deaths are a warning for the darkness underlying all of our planet, a nature docuseries no longer content with passive commentary. It also offers all the stunning imagery you've come to expect from these documentarians, but its attitude may surprise you. Individual entries feel a little less memorable because of it. The light, comic touches that made for lovely little moments in planet Earth are overshadowed, if not spoiled entirely, by the traumatic lessons put front and center. Will Gompertz of BBC also hands out a 4 out of 5 stars for the series, stating it gives us some of the most dazzling images you are ever likely to view on TV. When necessary, they are embellished with Attenborough's commentary, which is never obtrusive and always written with brevity and wit. It has been created by masters of their craft with an exceptional narrator. I do wonder, though, if the experienced exec producers at BBC would have sharpened up the first episode a little. Stuart McGurk of British GQ said, It's hard not to see this as a direct rebuke of the BBC's nature documentaries. Take one well worn spectacular of the natural world, shoot it even more spectacularly than the BBC ever did, and structure your whole opening episode around the idea that, without taking things like global warming seriously, without putting it front and centre about any show you're making about the natural world, because how could you not, then pretty soon there'll be nothing left to film so beautifully. Kevin Yeoman of Screen Rant concluded the series as stunningly ambitious. He wrote, Where our planet excels, planet Earth and blue planet, though, is in its presentation. It's not trying to convince anyone of anything. The time for doing that is long past. It's simply stating this information as fact, in as straightforward a manner as possible. Not that it's particularly difficult considering the evidence the series has on hand. Quote, However, Ed Power of The Telegraph criticized the documentary series as visually dazzling but very familiar, and gave it a 3 out of 5 stars, writing it is cliched in its portrayal of life on Earth as a slow-motion ballet of tooth and claw, in short, the innovations that made Attenborough's previous series so sensational are conspicuously absent. It's a haunting vision. More of this and our planet might have been a meaningful addition to the canon of natural history series. Instead, it prioritizes cinematic grandeur to an almost oppressive degree. Writing in The Independent, Lucy Jones says the most important aspect of the series, which sets it apart from other nature documentaries of its type, is that the harsh realities of global warming, mass species extinction and environmental degradation are woven into the narration that accompanies the breathtaking scenes and imagery, but argues it does not go far enough, and should have been more radical given current ecological crises. In particular, she says the program should have called out those responsible for this ecocide. When Attenborough's narration tells the audience, We have destroyed half the forests on Earth, she retorts, But, who is we? As well as the fossil fuel industry, where is the fishing industry? Agriculture, the plastics industry, the vested interests that keep the planet burning? Yes, we are all complicit, those of us in affluent societies with high consumption lifestyles more so than anyone, but there are greater powers at work. Describing the scale of the challenge is necessary but I wanted the series to go further, to peer under the hood, on IMDb our planet got a user rating of 9.5, 10, making it the sixth highest rated TV series of all time, as of May 2019. It ranks slightly below Planet Earth 2 and Planet Earth, with a rating of 9.5 and 9.4 respectively. Topic: Controversy. 
After its release, various clips taken have been uploaded to YouTube, including a clip from Episode 2 of the series, Frozen Worlds, which left viewers traumatized and heartbroken after watching. It captures a walrus falling to its death after climbing on to dry land due to continuous melting of its ice habitat. Zoologist Susan Crockford and controversial early Greenpeace member Patrick Moore, both associated with the Heartland Institute, claim the series is eco tragedy porn and that the walrus scene and calling it misleading and out of context. Crockford also leveled accusations that walruses may have been spooked by drones or other filming equipment. Netflix spliced footage from separate 2017 events and made it look as if it were the same scene. Producer Sophie Lanfear clarified that, "...the sequence includes footage from two separate beaches." The producers consider the spliced walrus segment the most powerful story they found during four years of filming." Andrew Montford, writing in The Spectator, said, "...it raises the possibility that Netflix and the WWF are, innocently or otherwise, party to a deception of the public." Shea Wolf, climate science director for the Center for Biological Diversity in Oakland, insists that the walrus deaths shown in Our Planet are becoming increasingly common as the sea ice they depend on melts away faster than we predicted. <laughs> <laughs> Soundtrack The soundtrack was released with a compilation of the incidental music specially commissioned for Our Planet. The theme song, In This Together, which is a collaboration with English singer and songwriter Ellie Goulding, is also included. See also Environmental stewardship